All right, you guys. So, welcome. If you are here because of TikTok, hello. If you guys have been following me already. What? Damn, I dropped it. Anyways, so, just like I said in my TikTok video, we are going to be doing protection work with a coconut, all right? So, I made a video a long time ago on TikTok about railroad spikes, right? And I know railroad spikes to be used in, like, hoodoo and voodoo. Okay, um, it can be used in other practices. I don't know. I'm not in those other practices, all right? But today we're going to do some protection work with a coconut. So you need to go get you a fresh coconut. And this coconut, we are going to go outside to crack it because honestly, I don't have a hammer. I, there's concrete outside, so we're going to bust this thing open outside. But outside of the coconut, what you need is some herbs, okay? So today I have me some cinnamon. This is all for protection, okay? You don't need a lot. Honestly, you can do protection with just pepper and salt. It's really up to you, all right? I have a little bit of my roux. I'm gonna add them to my jar. If you wanna use crystals, use crystals, you know? Do what you, do what you want. Roses is another thing that can be used, but I'm going to use basically what I made my TikTok video with today for protection work. So we have a little bit of cayenne pepper. Going to add some of that. Some of these things too that are used are going to be ingredients that are in the four of these. Okay. We have some mint. Mint is going to be protection. Add some of that. Now you don't need a lot. All right. You can do just like a little pinch full of everything if you choose to. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to list what these herbs do, what they are, but for the most part, these herbs are for protection. Ward off evil, ward off negativity, okay? I have me some High John. High John, um, there's actually history behind High John. High John is not for everyone, okay? Outside of that, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. I have some crushed red peppers. And I used to tell people all the time, carry some with you. All right, now look, you don't have to go buy these herbs like this. This red pepper came from a pizza place. Pizza place. It don't matter where it came from. I'm not going to use it. It's red pepper. It ain't fake. It's real. So I'm going to add some red pepper after I get it all out of this thing. Okay. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that to my mixture, okay? Earlier, not early, in another video I talked about chicory, right? How chicory is to open doors, right? Clear out obstacles, okay? So I have a little bit of chicory mixed in with some coffee. So this is from one that I brewed, all right? This is what I got, okay? Got the coffee and the chicory, all right? Again, you can use just salt, you can use just pepper. It is really up to you. This is this is your protection work, all right? And everything, it still works, it does its thing, all right? There's a million things that you can do, all right? There's not just one way, and I try to put that in you guys' head as much as possible. It's not just one way. But I felt the need to get garlic. All right, so, ooh, this garlic is sprouting. Beautiful. Okay. So, I felt the need to get garlic. So, I'm going to put my garlic aside. I'm going to work in threes when it comes to this garlic. So, I'm going to take three cloves and go on about that. All right, I'm going to save that garlic for later because I'm going to plant that in the garden. Now, you can use fresh herbs if you choose. You can use dried herbs. It, Herb is herb, okay? It, it's going to do the same thing regardless, okay? So, let me go ahead and peel my garlic. Now, if you want to add a lemon, add a lemon. If you want to add a lime, add a lime, all right? The main thing is, is adding things for protection, all right? If you want to add, you know, an amulet. Okay, remember we talked about in my TikTok video the difference between an amulet and a talisman. A talisman is for attraction. You know, you want to attract love, you want to attract money, you know, things like that. 
amulet is for protection. It's to ward off, okay? So I'm over here peeling these. I'm not going to, um, I'm not just going to put them in there with the skins. Now you can if you want, all right? Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. You don't have to use exactly everything that I used, okay? I love using psalms, okay? I am really big on the power of psalms. You don't have to use Bible scriptures if you don't want to. I grew up Southern Baptist. You know, I always talk about my brujeria roots. The power of psalms is something that was passed down to me, all right? So I'm actually going to write out a petition. Again, you don't have to write a petition if you don't want to, all right? This is your protection work. And how you choose to protect yourself is how you choose to protect yourself, all right? There's no right or wrong. But I am going to definitely put some psalms in my protection, my coconut, all right? So while I sit here and figure out which songs that I want to use, and let me just go ahead and show y'all, because I know some people, some people are going to say, where are you getting your stuff from? This is where I'm getting My book is old. You see this? My book is old. My book is hanging by a thread. It is hanging by some some tape. I don't even know how many pages are actually supposed to be in the power songs. This was given to me. This whole thing. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to survive. Oh, okay. Open straight up to it. Straight up to it. Okay. So yeah, while I write this down on parchment paper, I'm gonna get back. If you don't have um, string, rope, twine, whatever, ribbon, get you some. I have red because of what I did with some railroad spikes a while back. So I have me some red um, ribbon that you are actually going to need for this coconut. Because again, we're going to crack it open, let out the water, and I'm going to show you what to do with that water too. Do not waste nothing. Okay, so that's my little extra thing that I do. All right. So we have all of our things. We have our mixture, right? Hopefully it doesn't fall out so you guys can see it. There we go. I have my petition paper. I have my three garlics, okay? Okay, so when we get back, we are going to enchant. Okay, we're going to enchant this, but I'm a coconut. All right, coconut, we are about to go outside and get started. Okay, so we are outside, and I told you guys, I don't have a hammer. So I'm going, we're going to half this, so you need half of it. But with this water, we're going to wash the steps in front. Coconut, and again, I'm going to put this at the end of the video, but coconut, it's good for cleansing. It's good for protection, all right? When you are dealing with um, a lot of spirits, coconut is actually going to be... Oh, oh. All right, that was a butterfly. All right, so we're just going to... Now I need the rest of it. All right, so now that we have it open, we are going to start doing some work. All right, this is where the film begins. Okay, so we are back. All right, so you typically want this actually in a half, like a whole thing you want to open. But, told you guys, I don't have a hammer. I don't have a machete. I ain't got nothing to open it. So, I can break it open just like so. All right, so we are about to get started. So, you have all your ingredients. You have all your stuff, right? So, again, you want to enchant. You want to speak into 
your things. What are you doing? Why do you have it? This, that, and the third. You basically are going to activate. And I wish I had some tobacco right now, but I don't. Don't have no tobacco. Okay, so you're going to speak, set those intentions. What are you doing these for? What do you want the herbs to do for you? What do all? What is this all for? Okay, so we're going to get started. So, once you do that, you're going to begin to stuff this coconut, adding all your herbs, adding your petition, if you wrote one out. If you have crystals that you are using, adding that. I'm assuming that's supposed to be in there. Okay. So, you're going to add that in there. All right. Add in my garlic. Okay. And I literally have the strong urge, since I don't have any more tobacco, is to add a little bit of alcohol. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I am back. This was actually going to be an offering to um, a spirit a while ago, but I bought a lot of bottles, and this bottle was, yeah. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I like the sound of that. All right. So we are done, right? We are finished. All right. What do I have? Okay. So you're going to put this baby back together now. All right. Make sure I got this done right. Here we go. And this is why you need the string. This is why you need your ribbon. Okay. You're going to try and piece it back together as good as you can. Me, I, you saw how I had to open mine up. Okay. It's okay. Pieces are missing. That is fine. All right. Now that you have your coconut stuffed with all its things, it's time to get your ribbon, your twine, your whatever. I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add a little bit of crystals to this while I'm at it because these are some crystals that I got a while back that was gifted to me. All right. So again, following the rules of things. Now, if you don't, if you don't follow that practice, you know, you don't have to do it your way. All right. But we want coming, coming to us. All right. So we want protection. All right. But you can also go away from you as well because you are pushing out the negativity all right but at the end of the day the main purpose is to seal this close it all right so i have my twine and i'm going to start bringing it towards me because i want protection and you're just going to do this until it is shut all right if you really want to get fancy with it, you can go ahead and add a little extra pizzazz by taking some wax, you know, taking some candle and burning it on top. And I actually might just do that because I didn't say that for no reason. I didn't just envision that for no reason. So that's actually what I might do. But you want to seal this. You want to wrap it until it is... Basically, you can put this bad boy down anyway, and it's not going to come open, okay? So, this is going to take a while. So, I'm actually going to stop the video and come back once it is done. Okay. So, I have more red, but this is actually good enough. So, you're going to make a knot. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see we're gonna make a knot so depending on the practice you can do three knots you can do seven you can do nine all right odd numbers are always a good thing all right so we have our first knot
Nine. All right. So I'm going to go get my white candle that I have and set this out the right way. So I'll be right back. Let me go get that. All right, so I did a little extra extra. I went ahead and did some more. And like I told you, you can do three knots, nine, seven, you know, you can do 21. 21 is always good, okay? Um, so I have my candle. Now, I know some people are gonna say, oh, do you, you know, should you cleanse the, can the candle? Should you cleanse the coconut before you put anything in it, you know? Do you, look, everything, you like, you don't have to cleanse everything like that. A coconut's already cleansed. A coconut, you know, cleanses you, at least in my eyes, all right? So we have the candle. Well, I have my candle, because this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna light it. And what I'm going to do with it is basically just drip some wax on my knots. That is what I'm going to be doing with this. So, got to let it burn a little bit. Let it catch on. Who know how long this is going to take? Because this ain't no taper candle. Taper candle, you know, you can easily get to it. So, let's go ahead and see. And you just want a few drips. have the wax we sealed it with some wax we have our ribbon so now what do you do with this you did all this work you put your petition you put your crystals your herbs you know or your salt and pepper you did all this work what do you do with it all right you bury it you bury it so if you do not live in a house that is fine you can get you a planter and you can bury this inside that planter and leave it inside your house but if you have a home or if you're using this for your place of business you bury it outside in the yard wherever that may be all right so we're going to go outside and we're going to bury this okay so we are outside again we have the coconut all right so what you're going to do is you're going to start digging if you are planning to get outside all right i'm going to make a hole anywhere you feel is fit all right so when making the hole you want to make sure the hole it is big enough for the coconut in deep enough all right okay so we have the coconut just gonna put in there you can say a few prayers if you want And that is it. That is all. So that is all. That is it. All right. All that work. Okay. But it's for protection. All right. So again, if you don't want to go that route, there's other things that you can do for protection. If you guys want more videos about protection, um, simple things that you can do every day or once a week, once a month or something that's for like a lifetime comment below let me know if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and yeah that is it again at the end of this video i'm going to be listing what herbs i use and what they do all right so thank you for watching